When you're planning a big trip, you gotta think about timing. What's the weather gonna be like? Is there a national holiday that's gonna shut down the entire country for a week at a time? You don't wanna make it to Japan just in time for the cherry blossom season to end. And what's the point of a safari in the Serengeti if the wildebeest are not stomping around? And if you're Jewish, maybe consider not moving to Europe in the Middle Ages, also known as the Dark Ages. Medieval Europe was like a thousand years of bad food, heavy metal, deadly plagues, and some of the most intense religious persecution in world history. But apparently, the Jews didn't get the memo. Or maybe they were really into Iron Maiden. Whatever. The Jews made their way to Central Europe as the Roman Empire pushed into the barbarian West. Before long, some of those quote-unquote barbarians pushed back. And Charlemagne, aka Charles the Great, became the Holy Roman Emperor. A good old Chuck granted the Jews basic rights, which was amazing news and brought Jews from all over Europe to settle in the Rhine Valley. They called their new little slice of heaven Ashkenaz. For a few hundred years, Ashkenaz was like a bubble separated from the mayhem of medieval Europe. Sort of like uh, Austin is from the rest of Texas now. Some of the greatest minds in Jewish history wrote their most important stuff in Ashkenaz. Stuff that made the Bible and Talmud much more accessible to ordinary people. On the other side of the scales, gefilte fish was invented. But things were about to get even worse than gefilte. In 1096, the Crusaders started their bloody trip from Europe to Jerusalem, destroying almost everything in their path. Jews were worth double points. Under a guy whose name was, I kid you not, Peter the Hermit, the Crusaders wrecked havoc in the cities of Ashkenaz. And in spring of that year, the people of Regensburg knew they were next. Let's see how it might have gone down. Reenactment time. Did you call me, Rabbi? Come, closer to me. Did you bring the ring? Yes, but why is Sarah wearing a veil? The, the wedding isn't for a month. For dozens of years, we have built synagogues, yeshivas, and now they're destroying everything. Only the Holy One, blessed be He, knows what will be next month. Without a minyan, we cannot perform the wedding. Father, the rioters are nearby. They'll burn us in the synagogue. Let's start the marriage ceremony then. You purchased the ring with your money? The ring is consecrated. Behold, you are consecrated to me with this ring according to the laws of Moses and Israel. Consecrated, consecrated, consecrated. Now for the glass. If I forget the O Jerusalem, if I forget the o Jerusalem let my right hand wither, let my, right let hand my tongue wither, cleave to my palate. If, if I do not remember you, if I do not set Jerusalem above, above my highest joy. joy. Behind us, there is a secret passage to the outside. Run, run! Save the Torah scrolls. I'll watch the door. Father! Father, please come! Run! Run! 